watching from the audience tonight. Quentin Tarantino is here. Uh, this week on American Idol, Quentin Tarantino came on to lend his advice and services to the singers. It was interesting because he's a movie director. He's not a musician. So at the end of the day, it'd be like me giving them advice. Quentin, stick to movies. So well, and what I like about you now. At the end of the day, there's only one opinion that really matters out of the judges, and that's Simon's. So I think the contestants kind of caught a break because when Simon cannot get his two cents in, you can kind of breathe a sigh of relief. That's where you really stand out. I say love, it is a flower. Um, listen, Lil, I mean, once again, I'm going to say this to you. I think that you're getting this completely wrong. Um, the song was too soft for you. It was too middle of the road. But, you know, there's no excuses anymore, Lil. You know, you are not the artist I believe we met seven or eight weeks ago. I'm getting, I'm getting frustrated. Oh. Yeah, you say something. In corner one, we've got Simon. In corner two, we got Little Rounds. Battle it out. You guys taught me to be an artist. Yes. And when I heard this song, I thought it was a beautiful song. And I put my own bit to it, because I'm, I'm into the art. Basically, Little Rounds got upset because Simon says, you know what, you never make the songs your own. You're so generic. So she gave him some lip back. But Lil Rounds, he's right. Like, I could go find four of you in the streets. You're boring. You need to pizzazz it up, jazz it up, do some, some jazz hands on stage, bring something to the table, because you might be going home this week. Like a true nature child, we were born to be wild. Here's the thing, we know that he's an amazing performer, but he's like a Broadway act who's only one note. He's always shrieking and screaming and over the top. It's like, well, people really want to buy this album? Tone it down and just sing. Oh! 